We're so honored to be able to live in a house in the center of campus. Uh, and we don't really even see it as much as a house as a university residence. In other words, it's, it's, a, uh, it's a functioning, active uh, building on campus that should be shared with all of the university community. And so and we truly turned it into a, a, a university space where we can celebrate the talents and the scholarship of our faculty and staff. And with Anne Marie's background, it, it uh, became clear that she would uh, curate an art show here each year. Uh, and we have some of the finest art faculty uh, in the country uh, who are nationally recognized uh, for their talent and for their scholarship. And the same thing with all our other faculty and staff who have, uh, who have published, uh, who have developed national reput reputations. And we wanted to be sure that we were able to display their work in one place on campus. And so when we have receptions, when, when we host dinners for alumni or, or uh, friends of the university or uh, legislators or any other uh, individual who may come to campus and, and be invited over for a lunch or a dinner or reception, they'd be able to look on the walls and, and see uh, the fine work of our faculty. And it's, it's uh, fun to watch them browse through all the books that have been written as well by our faculty and, and just see all that Kutztown University has to offer. Well, when Ken and I moved into the university residence, we had a lot of empty walls. And my background is art museum education. And so I thought, well, we should maybe use this space as a gallery. And so I approached faculty members here at the university and asked them if they would be willing to loan works for a year and that we would switch these spaces out um, show new work and, and give them an opportunity to show work on campus. And they were so agreeable to the idea. And so as I talked to people, we just started bringing artwork over here and, and it just took off from there. With the house, we have to think about a lot of different considerations, you know, who our audience will be, that we'll have people who aren't necessarily familiar with the uh, most recent developments in art and, and they are looking for works that are maybe more familiar to them. So what we do is we try and present very challenging works um, that show really interesting ideas, but also show work that's maybe can be appreciated on different levels. And we have to think about the spaces in the house, um, how, the, how the rooms are used. So um, right now we're showing work in a reception area, our living room, our dining room, our sunroom. These are the spaces that are used for various events. So in the living room, we have two watercolor collages by Cheryl Hochberg. We have a large mixed media piece over the fireplace by Mark Mahosky. We have two photographs by Lee Kane. And then the two student pieces we have at the moment, one is a sculpture from a foundations class that is in our living room. And then we also have a woven piece from a textile major in our dining room. We have two photographs by Dan Talley. One is in the foyer and one is in the sunroom. They are beautiful nature scenes that he took during his walks in North Park, which is just near Kutztown. And he photographed these works over a 12-month period. We have two works by Margaret Knoll in our library. One is a silver point, which is a type of drawing, and the other is an encaustic piece, which is made with wax and paper and pigment and it's, the subject is uh, an abandoned mine in southwestern Ireland. Well, in our reception room, we have a Conte drawing by Matthew Dobb. We have a mixed media piece by Rhonda Wall. We have some books by Amy Filer Wonder. We have two beautiful vessels by Carrie Nordland that are made from seeds and various materials from nature. In the dining room, we have two drawings by Evan Summer and a lithograph by James Rose. We have three works by Rick Salafia. One is a work that was created from a two by four that was planed and then he reassembled in the shape of a ball. And the other two works are vessel-like forms, but they're made from pens. And what the idea he's working with is the idea of making the familiar unfamiliar. The books have come from uh, virtually every discipline uh, across our, our university. Uh, we currently have somewhere around 60 books, I believe, that have been submitted. It ranges from books on the history of money 
to witchcraft, uh, to books and economics, to textbooks, uh, to novels, and probably the full range uh, representing the, all the talent and uh, research interests of our faculty. Many years from now, people will be able to look back and, and celebrate the, uh, the fine art uh, and uh, the type of art that was being created at this time as well as the research, the books, the publications that were coming out at this particular era in our history. And so we see this not only as something that is benefiting the university community in the present, but it also will have historical value as we go into the future and look back on this time.